our All Indiana artist today is a painter. With his brush, he captures people and places in ways photographs can't. Really, his work is amazing. His art makes a connection with the subject, and his style is reminiscent of graphic novels, perhaps because he used to work with DC Comics and Marvel. Please help us welcome Odwin Newman here with Woo! us. I mean, you're kind of like your own superhero. I love your vibe. <laughs> I mean, you have a lot of power in those hands of yours. Thank you so much for joining us yeah. today. Yeah, I appreciate y'all having me here. I really do. Yeah, and all when you said you can't remember a time when you weren't painting. Yeah, I can't. Wow. I can't. Literally, like it, it was me and my cousin growing up in Cleveland, drawing superheroes, Godzilla, Star Wars, cartoons, and uh, and honestly, my mom used to use my love of drawing to kind of get me to act right. So <laughs> I would, she would, she would Look, get me boy, paints. just go draw yeah. something. Just yeah. go draw yeah, something. Positive parenting. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. like that. Yeah, she go, I'll get you a coloring book if you sit at the barber and don't act up. You know what I mean? Wow. So, yeah, wow. that's true. And that's little true. did she know, she was just feeding into your oh, purpose. Man. This yeah. is amazing. Absolutely. Thank you. Wow. I appreciate it. So I know that you do a lot of work that we always see in Speedway, and you're actually going to be working while we're talking yeah. to you, which, yeah. I mean, that's how cold he is. Okay? Right, right. He just, um, yeah. But you see some of his work here. So tell us a little bit about what goes into creating these pieces. You know, honestly, what I what I do is, uh, I, so I travel around the country and do art shows in different states. Mm -hmm. And so I take whatever that state's thing is, and I put it on that state. So mm -hmm. I saw someone with an Illini shirt, and I was like, oh, that's fighting Illini, because mm -hmm. I do a lot of shows in Illinois so yeah. obviously Indiana Purdue IU um, but then our state bird is the Cardinal and then of course you got the 500 and and I was blessed to do the cover art for last year's Brickyard um, which was awesome by the way thank yeah. you thank <laughs> you. We, we featured it on the Wish TV and I'm glad that we did yes. thank, thank you so guys much. And, and I appreciate it. now I'll tell you I appreciate the support that Wish TV has shown me and other artists I mean it just it makes a difference and I, I was I was telling Ray I was like you when I do uh, shows, people will come up to me and say, hey, you are on Wish TV, right? <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, the yeah. power of supporting each other because we see ourselves in your work. Look at that. Yeah. Thank I mean, you. would you say that there is a, I know, I know this is a tough question. Yeah. Would you say there is a favorite Ooh. type of art that you've put together? Pick a child. Or anything? I know, right. <laughs> Pick your favorite child tough, right now. And I said that earlier. <laughs> I was like, man, you know what? They are like your kids. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? You can't really say which kid is your favorite. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that that my acceptance to the racing community, because mm -hmm. I'm not a race driving artist. Mm -hmm. like, I, right. That's not my, my hook. Uh -huh. But the way they have accepted me in over the past two years has kind of catapulted that to the front. So uh, I would have to say if I was going to choose a kid, if I was choosing one of my child, <laughs> the racing would be number one. And I'd probably say the military stuff's number two. I just got a license with the armed forces. Really? So wow. all, all the branches. So I'm doing uh, an Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine piece on America. Oh there's, my goodness. There's so much heart in that. Oh, so yeah. I get that. And to yeah. think about what you start with, okay? So you start with a small lap board, yeah. uh, blank cork board, and yeah. two or three tubes of paint. I yeah. think we kind of see your starter yeah. kit here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So kind of talk yeah. us through your process. So what I usually do um, is, depending on what, what the, the subject matter is going to be, I'll either start with inks, like with this, or I'll start with acrylics, which is like this. So okay. I'm all kind of all over the place. And then uh, usually most of them I put the background down uh, with spray paint. Mm. Okay. So I just do like a, a base color, averaging out where different things are broken out. That's spray paint. You know, and then, but if I need things to be brighter, I, I'll go in with the ink. So everything is mixed medium, everything. I mean, it's so like, it like jumps out at you. Yeah, and, and you know what I would do with all these types? Oh. You know you know what I could make? A finger paint. A mess. Right, a I mess. Could make, I could make a mess. You would make a mess. I probably would make a mess too, because this is way out of our our sphere. For for the rookies out there trying to get into this art thing, I think you got a little bit to show us yeah, real yeah. quick. Okay. So my, my whole thing is, and, and I, I go back to Bob Ross. Bob Ross believed that everybody could do art. Now mm -hmm. listen, not everyone's going to be Bob Ross. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, it's just like saying... Not everybody can be Michael Jordan, mm -hmm. but anybody can pick up a basketball and dribble up a court. There we go. And yeah, shoot go. a ball. And yeah. so that's my thing is I take, when I do something like this, this is a cork board that, you know, I buy, you can buy at a big box store mm -hmm. for five bucks. Um, I just painted the back blue 
and then I'm taking things that you got at home, a toilet paper tube. This is an old sponge that my wife had. <laughs> uh, here's a plate, and I'm just going to put some white paint on, and I'm going to make some dandelions and make it look like the wind blew it in the air and have the seeds coming wow. off. Wow, and, and you can see it. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and it's going to be a, a Sharpie and white paint. Oh, wow. that, that's it. And anybody could do that. Anybody could do it. I want to see how we. Okay, yeah. so let's okay, go ahead and get yeah, started because yeah. I want right. to see right. how this happens. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm that visual. when you and I try this, <laughs> he's Don't, MJ. Look, look, have faith in us. <laughs> we can, we can get there. And we, we the water boys. <laughs> <laughs> like we're not even on the team. But that's oh. what I love about this kind of art. I think that that's really cool. Yeah, you just you know, so those are the stems, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you want to have different size dandelions. So use something like this. You know, you don't. I don't have a an ellipse template, so I'm gonna put some white paint on this plate. Okay. Do that. Boom. Make one. Then put some on this. Boom. This will be the big one. And then I'll just make the little seeds flying off. Wow. I'm starting to see how you might have gotten in some trouble at home as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> when I think of the yeah. things that you grab, yeah. start making out with walls at your mom and dad. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, uh, I got in a big trouble once where I took crayons and drew a big Godzilla on the wall. <laughs> on the wall. And, and, uh, oh, no. Your mom, mom was was not, not happy. happy. Mm. She, she was not feeling that at all. Imagine that. But, not happy. Uh, Godzilla's on the wall. But, right? uh, but you know, when you think about it, you know, I grew up, I'm a kid from, uh, so I just uh, turned 50. I'll be 51 uh, next month. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, Happy uh, early birthday. Yeah. yeah, thank you. And and But there was no internet. Mm -hmm. There was no internet. So you, you had know? to do something so, to yeah, you just yeah. you just got to kind of, you had to kind of make your own things happen. You know what I mean? Wow. So then that becomes the orb for one of them. And then we take that. This. Speaking of making your own things happen, I mean, you worked for Marvel, DC Comics. Yeah. Real quick, because we're running out of time here. Yeah. Yeah. What was that experience like for you? Yeah. It was it was amazing. Uh, I was 24 years old, 23. Uh, so I worked for them for about eight, nine years. The thing about it was I was too young to really realize how special it was. Mm. And so it was a job. Mm, just a, yep, it I was a that. job. I it, get it, that it, it wasn't. It, it, everybody always goes, man. I can't believe you work for DC. You drew Superman, blah blah. Yeah, I did, but it was a job. Wow. It was a job. I was putting in like 13, 14 hour days. Of course. Uh, and just getting uh, it done. Day and, after day. and at that time, I I wasn't wanting to work 13, 14 hour days. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, I wanted to work a couple hours, and I wanted to go visit my friends from college. I know uh, that's right. Real real quick, where, where can people get uh, your yeah. art? Where can they purchase your art? Um, so I have a, a shop in Broad Ripple called the Crafty Animal, and uh, it's off uh, 64th and Cornell. And also, you can always catch me on Instagram on New Art Rivals mm -hmm. uh, or uh, The Crafty Animal. Audwin, well, we listen, appreciate the time, We'll have man. to show everybody what this looks like when he's done with it. Audwin, thank you so much. Thank it's always you. such a pleasure. You're always welcome, Audwin. Always hey, thank welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all very much.